All right, guys. Hey, David Yates here in sunshiny Clearwater, Florida, and you just saw what? An eclipse. And by the way, it's sunny, but it's getting less sunny all the time because it is Solar Eclipse Monday. These are not the sunglasses you need. I'm not an optometrist. I'm not an ophthalmologist, but I did stay at Holiday Inn Express last night. You don't need these glasses. You need these if you look at the, <laughs> at the Solar Eclipse. So don't look. If you do look, use these glasses and look for a few seconds. Otherwise, do not look at all, guys. You don't want to have retina damage. That's not good. We're about rest, rehab, and release, and one of the big discussions right now around the world is how does the solar eclipse, which doesn't happen very often, the total eclipse, how does it impact animals? So we obviously rescue animals here at CMA, right? We have dolphins, sea turtles, we have river otters, so we're going to talk to Heather, one of our marine mammal caregivers, about generally what can we expect because we're in the eclipse, literally solar eclipse right now, we're kind of in the peak right now this moment. What happens with, what do we think is going to happen with Nicholas? Nothing, something, what's your, what do you think is going to happen? He's not going to just like fall asleep all of a sudden, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if somebody has narcolep narcolepsy, are they going to like fall asleep right now? It doesn't happen that way, right? No, no, <laughs> and there are scientific studies showing that generally animals can be affected by a solar eclipse. However, we're not in an area there's a total eclipse. So we're in an area where there's gonna be 80% of the solar eclipse visible to us. So we can see that it is a little bit darker than normal on a sunny day. Um, if you look across the way, you'll see Kaylee interacting with Nicholas right now at this moment. And so far, it does not appear to be affecting his behavior. He seems to be acting the way that we would anticipate him to act during any of our training sessions on a normal day. Um, so he's interacting with her, he's swimming around his pool, showing us normal behavior. And we're going to watch him for a while, see what happens. Yep. Now, in the last total eclipse was, I think, 1991. It don't happen that often, and we're not total Correct. here, but it's, 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 it's a partial here. But part of the world is getting total right now. And the rumors are that uh, birds start nesting early, then when it's over, they start chirping like the day is new again. Bats start hunting during the daytime, which is scary. Mm -hmm. Spiders start taking down their webs. So the question is, what happens with the animals around the world? In our case, will Nick just do anything different? Not likely he will, but it can change their, but I, a little bit of confusion sometimes the animals. Correct. Not, they're not yeah. sure what's going on. What's, now, we as humans, we know what's going on. And if I, uh, if I want to doze off right now, I'll let you know. I think it's getting dark right now, but I'm getting tired. <laughs> I don't have my epilepsy, but yeah. I'm, I'm getting tired right now. Yeah. But it definitely affects humans, but animals can get confused. They don't, we know what's Correct. going on. They don't know what's going on. Correct. Hence yep. the confusion sometimes. Yep. There you go. So that's Nick right there doing his normal stuff, and we don't expect to see any big changes, but we're going to find out and watch this and see what happens. And again, the I think the last total eclipse was 1991. As Heather said, we're getting about 82% here in Florida right now. And there's Nick looking at you right now. He's not falling asleep. He is still awake. And uh, <laughs> we did not let him look at the eclipse. We don't want him to hurt his eyes. We do not have special glasses for him. <laughs> Thus, he's, he's just kind of hanging out right now. But again, if you're uh, watching us right now, do not look at the sky unless you have special glasses. If you do, just look for a few minutes. And there's your close up of Nick, hanging out, having fun. He is one of our well-known rescue dolphins here at Clearwater Marine Aquarium. One of the rescue we have in release, and he's having a great, great time. So he's not dozing off. He's not looking for the TV remote control. He's not changing anything right now. So it's like he's having a normal, normal day. He's had a great dolphin or so tell us a little bit, well, by the way, there is a sun oh, connect, really connection cool. to Nicholas, and Nicholas actually, there you go. I think he's doing fine. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this he's falling asleep at all. This is what he shows us when he's really into his yeah. training session, so I would say that he's fully awake, fully alert. There you go, guys. Um, these guys think make you, these make, you make you blind. You can't see a thing. So anyway, nope. so. It's like the things you used to get when you are a kid out, out, of, out of your uh, cereal box, right? You cut them out, kind of fake stuff. Anyway, but Nicholas is a uh, dolphin that we got in 2002, has a sunburn on his back, so he has a connection to sun, not the solar eclipse, but a sunburn, and uh, Heather, a little bit more about his history, we've got him in 2002, his mom was sunburned, tell us a little bit about his medical history and how he's doing today. So with Nicholas, he stranded in 2002, just like David stated, he was not alone in that stranding, there's a great example of his back. Uh, right now you can see all the scars, so that scar tissue is permanent, just like with a burn victim. Typically you're going to see different coloration, different texture to that area. And so in the case of Nicholas, during his rehabilitation, unfortunately his mother passed away. Uh, we learned from her body or her necropsy that she had a lung disease or a lung illness. Uh, and so that could have contributed to her passing. Uh, so what that meant for Nicholas was that he was then an orphan calf under human care. And typically for bottlenose calves, they'll spend about two to seven years with mom. During that time, they learn how to survive. So those are things Nicholas doesn't know how to do. He didn't have the time with mom to learn how to hunt, 
or forage or even socialize with wild dolphins. So for that reason, he was deemed non-releasable by the US government. So there's another great close-up of his back there. You can see all the scar tissue. Um, again, those will be permanent. Today, he's about 15 years old. Um, so he's doing fantastic. As you can see, you can see he's uh, a very active grown male. Um, so he's still a non-releasable candidate simply because he still lacks those skills. So as his care staff, we can teach Nicholas a wide range of different types of behaviors, but what we cannot do is teach him how to be a wild dolphin. So some of the most important care behaviors we'll focus on are gonna be husbandry type uh, behaviors, and that's what you're seeing take place right now. So we can ask Nicholas to do simple layouts to maybe even collecting different types of samples. So she's practicing for eye drops. So we don't have a dropper, that's just simply practice. And you can see what a fantastic attitude Nicholas has to his husbandry care. Um, and we focus on using positive reinforcement. So Kaylee's getting excited, we're getting excited, um, and he's getting some yummy treats. And you can see that uh, even during this solar eclipse that he's doing fantastic during his training. Um, so it still does not seem to be affecting his behavior in this area. But like David said, in the areas that are exposed to the total eclipse, meaning that the sun will be completely covered, a lot of animals, particularly wild animals, may get confused and think it's nighttime. So they start exhibiting uh, nighttime behaviors or for nocturnal animals, we'll see them more active during the day than we would normally. So I think his diet is still intact. We can see that. His, <laughs> at, his, attitude, his attitude is still intact. He's a great yes. dolphin. Real briefly, talk about again, you talk about caregiving, you talk about husband, talk about enrichment also. Yes. And why do we do what we do? Because these are very intelligent, sentient animals. So if you have to care for them, you have to know what you're doing. Talk about what we do throughout the day and why we do it real quick. Absolutely. So not only do we focus on husbandry or medical care behaviors, we'll also focus on a wide range of enrichment opportunities. These guys, just like David said, are extremely <laughs> intelligent. Um, and in this environment, Nicholas doesn't have to worry about finding his own food. As you can see, he gets restaurant quality fish. Uh, he also doesn't have to worry about avoiding predators like sharks. And so we provide enrichment opportunities all the time on a daily basis. So enrichment can be anything from maybe them practicing exercise to um, interacting with different objects. So we've actually got a really fun toy. In fact, for our animals, we actually have closets full of toys that they get to choose to interact with if they want to. Um, for Nicholas, he seems to really enjoy strappy toys as you see him swimming by here. Um, he also seems to really enjoy buoys. So that's another thing that we find that is a favorite of his. And just like us, each dolphin or each individual animal under our care has different preferences in how they interact with their enrichment. So um, Winter, I would say one of her favorite toys is we have a red Kong. She loves to carry that red Kong around her with her. She'll take it down into the water column and it will pop back up and she'll chase it. Everybody um, has their own toys and gadgets, right? Yes, so very, exactly. Very cool. And they're, they're so. individualized animals. They all have different interests, thoughts, and desires. Yep. And our job is to care for them. So guys, here it is, Y2K, nothing happened, right? You're probably too young to remember that, right? So, <laughs> solar eclipse, we're all fine, the world hadn't fallen apart, we're all no, here, the yep. animals are fine. All the animal, all the rescued animals at CMA are fine, they're here guys, they're doing great, Nicholas is doing well. So is Winter Hope, the turtles are great, so everything is, we're having a good day? Everything's yes, fine? having right. a great day. There you go. And uh, it's, I'm getting tired, I'm, so I'm gonna go take a nap right now. Okay. I'm, long <laughs> long now. I'm getting tired of myself. Say goodbye to Nicholas, guys, and our great Bye. rescue dolphin, Nicholas. There you go, guys, from CMA. Home of rescue, we have released, guys. Have a great solar Monday. Do not look at the sun. <laughs> Thanks, guys.